Let's graph the linear equation y equals 7x plus 1. And we're going to do this two ways. First, we'll use a table of values to figure out the graph for y equals 7x plus 1. Then we'll check our work with slope-intercept formula. So let's put some values in for x. You can use any values, but it's nice to start with things that you think will fit on your graph paper. Let's go with 0. That's always a good one. 7 times 0, 7 times 0 is 0, so 0 plus 1 is just 1. How about 1? 7 times 1 is 7, plus 1, that gives us 8. And then negative 1. 7 times negative 1, that's negative 7, plus 1, that would be negative 6. So these are the points that we'll graph for the line y equals 7x plus 1. So let's start out with 0 for x, y is 1. Then we have x is 1, and y is all the way up here at 8. And finally, we have negative 1 for x, and y is down here, negative 6. And you can see all of these points are on a line here. We could have just used 2, but if we do 3, we make a mistake here, we'll catch it. Let's put a line through these, and then we'll put arrows to show that this goes to infinity. So again, we could use any points. These just work out. They fit on the graph paper here. Let's check our work with slope-intercept formula. So we have y equals mx plus b. b, the y-intercept, that's 1. So that's where our line will cross the y-axis. Let's just put that right here, 1 on the y-axis. That makes sense. For the slope, the slope here is 7. Think of this as 7 over 1, because then we can say rise over run. So we'll go here to our y-intercept. We'll go up 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and over 1. And we're kind of out of room. Let's go to the y-intercept and go down 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, over 1 in the opposite direction. And you can see these points are all on the line here, so we did the first part correctly. This is Dr. B with the graph for y equals 7x plus 1. Thanks for watching.